is going on guys my name is greg and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a how to make series here and we're redoing spider ham with my new formula my new format trying to make things a little easier for you guys and uh i understand going into that so as recording this i seen i hit 100 subscribers finally so thank you guys so much try to bring that number up way up in 2019 trying to do a lot with this channel uh, going forward plus live streaming as well so that's a lot of fun as of right now, I don't know what the live stream's going, how the live stream's going, because this is before I started it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the Spider Ham emblem. This is by far my favorite emblem I've ever made, and I can't. I like making it again. I ain't gonna lie. You want to go ahead and grab Goop, and you want to bring that in at full, about full opacity. You don't want to bring it in completely. You want to bring it in about 75 opacity. Okay, and you're going to be using a light blue for this, and I'm recommending this one right here. Uh in this category between the light light blue the dark blue baby blue section aqua baby blue right there okay then you want to go into the shapes and grab egg and you want to bring that in full opacity like so there we are and then um you're going to be using a dark blue for this one sorry i hate when that does that and now i'm just messing up i'm probably confusing you guys you want to use this blue right here for the legs here's the dark blue like we said we used this one earlier um we use this one earlier and then you want to use this one okay and then you want to go ahead and copy and paste egg make it a little bit thicker just follow that position in that scale like so okay good okay now you want to go into shapes and grab something called kidney i mean cheek my bad this is kidney you want cheek um and you want to just put it here follow that position that scale and that rotation and for the color, you're going to be using this red right here. Oh, hold on. It's either this one or this one. I think it's this one. I think it's that one. I'm not sure. So, one of those reds. I'm, I'm positive it's one of those. Then you want to grab cheek again, copy, paste, make it white. Then you want to copy and paste again, and this time match the blue to the, what we used earlier, that dark blue at the very, very top in the blue category, like so. Then you want to grab a half circle. It's right here, and you want to put it right there, and you want to use white. Then go ahead and copy and paste that cheek again, like we did earlier. You can make this bigger. You can make it smaller. It doesn't matter as long as it's covered up, and you want it white, and you want to place it there. Now you want to go ahead and grab another half circle and get red and use the same red that we used earlier. So you guys should know where that is. It's in that red category. It's either the third or the fourth one down. And we're going to put it there. And then we're going to go ahead and grab cheek again and put it here. Now you guys want to go into shapes and grab egg. It's right here. And you want to make it white and bring it in full opacity. so then you want to go ahead and grab a circle and you want to put it here and make it white as well just follow that scale that position and that rotation it is 100 percent opacity then you want to go into shapes as well and then you want to actually i think this one is actually in backgrounds you want to go into backgrounds my bad and grab concave that's this layer right here and of course it's going to be white Then you want to go back in to backgrounds and go all the way to the very, very bottom and grab cylinder. That's right here. And you want to use that blue that we used already earlier, that dark, dark blue. And you want to put it there. Like so. Now go ahead and grab cheek again and get that same red that we used earlier, the third one, fourth one down. Put it here. Like so. Then you want to go ahead and put another one here. Another cheek here. Another cheek here. Then you want to go ahead and grab egg again. Place it here. Then 
Another egg here. Then you want to grab egg again, but this time you're going to make it white. Then you want to grab another egg and you want to put it here. And you want to use red on this one. Then you want to grab another egg and you want to put it here. You kind of want to make sure it covers up most of the white, but you kind of want to leave that little sliver on the right side um, of the logo. Then you want to grab another uh, egg and just put it down here. Then we want to get a circle and place it here. Then you want to go back into backgrounds, grab that concave again, get that red, and you want to place it here. 100% opacity. Like so. Then you want to go back in to backgrounds, grab that cylinder if you don't want to go back and copy and paste, and you want to place it here. Same red we've been using for all the other ones. Like so. Then you want to go into shapes and grab moon, that is right here, and just use that red that we've been using. Third or fourth one down, you want to put it here. Then you want to go ahead and start making the left arm here. And right there. Technically it's his right, but it's my left, so if I go left. Another one here. Sorry, let you look at that real quick. Go ahead and pause. Then we'll go over to this one. Still trying to learn to slow things down a little bit. And you want to put that there. Then you want to put this one here. These are all 100% opacity for the left slash right arm. And another one here. Just kind of cover up what we already missed like so there we go now we're gonna go into patterns and grab a layer called crosshatch it's right here you want to make it black and bring it in at about let's say about a 85 opacity so you want to grab another one you want to put it here I know in the last one I kinda did it a little too light I realized that you want a little darker, and actually, you know what? This one, um, I don't want 100% opacity. We'll bring this one in about 90. You want it a little darker than what I showed you last time. I apologize for that. Go ahead into the shapes, grab moon, and make it white, and put it here. Then you guys go in and grab crest in the shapes category here, and just put it over top the arm here. Turn it white. Make sure you follow that position, that scale, and that rotation. Just kind of line everything up real nice. Like so. Then I want you guys to go in and grab a circle. And you just want to stretch it out and make it black. 100% opacity. And it's going to go there. Then you want to grab another circle, copy, paste, make it white. Shrink it down a little bit. Like so. Then you want to go ahead and just copy and paste, put a black one there as well, like so. Then you want to go ahead and grab another white one, shrink it down, put it there. Then go ahead and get a red circle. You don't have to use a circle, I just used a circle because I copy and paste and then match the color up from the red, third or fourth down in the red category. And just cover up the bottom of the eyes here. Like so. Then you want to go and grab moon. I think we've already used it, but I'll show you right there. Make it black and put it at the bottom of the eyes. One on each eye. Then you want to go ahead and grab that cross hatch again and bring it in about, about 85 opacity. 
kind of like the top one like so then you want to grab another circle make it white put it over top of the face just use that position scales line it up underneath the middle of the between the eyes there then you want to go ahead and grab a red one same color as the suit third or fourth down you be the judge of what red looks better for you they look pretty similar but uh it all depends on preference of what you're looking at on your TV because it looks better. It looks different on the TV I'm recording on compared to the TV I play on. So it's kind of that thing. Go ahead and grab that cross hatch again, bring it in about an 85 opacity, just like we did for everything else, and make it black, of course. There you guys go. Now I want you to go into patterns. You want to go ahead and grab teardrop. That's this right here. Bring it in, and you want to make it black, 100% opacity. Like so. And another one on this side. Then a white one, copy and paste. Then you want to just turn it white. Shrink it down. Copy and paste that. Flip it if you have to. Just use the touchpad or the select button on Xbox and whatever you, it is on PC. Go ahead and grab crosshatch again, bring it in about an 85 opacity, like so. We're going to actually unlink it. Go ahead and grab this layer called cheek. I think we've used it quite a bit, but I'll just show you again. You want to turn it white and you want to put it up here. Grab a red one, put it here. Another red one, put it here. Make sure it like kind of hangs off the white a little bit. So the white's showing a tiny bit, but not too much, like so. Grab another cross hatch, bring it in about an 85 opacity. So then you want to go to icons. That's right here. And you want to just scroll down to you find the spider. It's near the skeleton, the wolf, the shark, lion, all that. Put it, shrink it down, put it on top of the chest, make it black. Like so. Now you want to go in uh, here to the patterns. And you want to find this layer again. It's called goop. And you want to make it blue. And just bring it in about a 40 opacity. Um, I'll show you the color we use. We're using a very, very light blue here. Um, I think it's this one, actually, right here. So we're looking one, two, three, four up or so. Look at about four up on that one. If you want to see the scale and everything, it's right there. Copy and paste. Put it over top of the thumb, about a 40 opacity. Then you want to grab a circle, make it white. Bring that in at about a 70 opacity. Then you want to go ahead into shapes and you want to go to this one called droplet. Get that same blue color and bring it in at about let's say about a 50, a 60 opacity. And the color is of course, I think we actually went a little lighter on that one. So actually it's right here. Yeah, I used a little lighter one on this right here. So. Then you want to grab a white circle again and bring it in about the same, about a 60, you know what, about a, I think we're going to go full opacity on this one, like so. And that's it. That's my spider ham emblem. I hope you guys enjoy these, uh, the new format. I find it, I find it easier to follow myself since I'm trying to slow things down, make it easier for you guys. But that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoy the new format. I'll see you guys with new emblems coming in next week. Um, not, I don't know if I'll have emblems every, you know, I won't have them every day, but I, like I said, Monday, Monday and Friday will be emblems. Uh, you know what? Maybe Tuesday and Friday will probably be emblems because that way I can have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday live stream. And that way I don't have to work at doing emblems that weekend so I can get things ready and maybe live stream on the weekends as well. So uh, I'm figuring out my schedule. I'll let you guys know before the week hits, before the emblems start hitting. I'll make a video separately on that. I got to get my schedule worked out. And But as of right now, that's it for this week. Hope you guys enjoy these emblems again. Uh, if you do, go ahead and make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you guys for everything. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Um, 
and I'll just see you in the next video. Peace.